You're the youngest ever British debutant in Formula One. You're still a teenager, you're driving a car, it's a dream. And the car we've got alongside us bears quite prominently the logo for the Mind Charity who yep. work to support people's mental health. Everyone has spoken about the joys of being a Formula One driver. Would you mind sharing with us some of the struggles of that first year? Sure. So I think all of it would already start at the first race. The amount of people which are here working on everything. At that point, I just feel like just another driver. You know, I don't feel like I'm way better than everyone else or necessarily believe I'm much better than everyone else at this point. But like I'm on the grid and I just think so many people are watching me. I have so much to deliver for the whole team. And I am a new driver in Formula One. There's a lot of eyes on me. There's expectations. You don't want to let McLaren down. You know, that already just puts that pressure on. I think when things become tougher are when the media, how the media portrays you is one of the biggest things. So when things start to go wrong, when you make a couple of mistakes and the media have a little dig at you and then fans and people on social media start to have a more of a dig at you. That's when that self-doubt that sometimes I, I would have, like that grows when people kind of just add on to that. I struggled a lot 